hope Angelique recovers quickly. Very good, Angelique. Lift it higher. Higher, dear. Trying. Of course you are. You're trying as hard as you can because you know how important victory is, my darling. It's everything. Oh, keep your hands steady. I can't. Yes, you can. You can and you will. Pick up the glass of water, Angelique. Pick it up. It's so heavy. No, it is not heavy. It's just a small glass of water. And you almost did it yesterday, so I know you can do it today. Bring, try. Good. Concentrate. My arms. Shh. Don't waste your energy talking. Bring the glass to your lips. <sighs> no, don't give up. I forbid you to give up. Oh, oh, shh. Oh, God. Oh, the water spilled. We have more water. I'm sorry. Oh. Very good. You were trying hard. Now, try again. No. Yes, Angelique. Stop. Go on, Angelique. Stop. Stop it right now. You're not going to go to the cops. Oh, yeah? With a rap sheet as long as my arm. Wouldn't do you any good. Squealing the homicide, I guarantee you, you'd be put behind bars. Oh, nice, nice too, Dylan. Hey, we were buddies when your precious little niece was in trouble. When you needed me and my services, we were best of friends. And now, now I'm dirt? You are dirt. And I had a dirty job and it was right up your alley. Yeah, well, so now it's your turn. You lost too many brain cells in your chosen lifestyle. You don't listen. What went down never happened. You think my brain cells are missing, cop? What about yours? Oh, I read all about you in the papers. How you messed up your love life. You married the wrong sister. You shut up. Ah. Yeah, I had a waste you way. I got you right here. I ought to knock every tooth right ah. back into your throat. Ah. But I'm going to give you the chance of a lifetime. You know why? I'm going to let the little maggot breathe. <laughs> Because you, you're going to forget everything you know about me. You're going to forget everything about the deal. You got it? Huh? You sure? Huh? Yeah. I don't want to hear nothing but no owing anything to anybody. You got that? You sure? Sure. I don't want to see your stinking face again. You go back into your rock and you suck mud. We'll just see how long I shut up. Just you wait! Excuse me. You seem to have a problem. Perhaps I could provide the answer. Is it true that Dimitri actually complimented you on the air? Yes, it's true. <laughs> well, congratulations. I don't know how you engineered that one, but bravo. Oh, well, thank you very much. It certainly was praise hard-earned. Believe me, the entire operation just has me worn out. <laughs> operation? You mean it was a snow job? Well, what else? Well, it obviously paid off. Well, yes, it did, but at what cost? I mean, picture yourself trapped in this sports car with Dimitri Marek flying towards New York City at 85 miles an hour all the while trying to snow this impossible man, and all you can really do is just shudder and hope the airbags activate when at the moment of impact. 85 miles per hour? Yes, I was in a cold sweat. But that was nothing, believe me, compared to, to taping the show with him. I mean, I had to call on my most charming and wonderful poker face and just freeze it in place. I'll tell you, I'm worn out. 
Well, I wouldn't throw out that poker face quite yet, if I were you. Why? What happened? Adam. Mm. Adam? Yes, he was here earlier, and when he found out that you had gone to New York with Demetrio, um, he just wasn't very happy about that. Oh, wasn't happy. I'm sure that's a euphemism. <laughs> okay, he was furious. At you, at Dimitri, at Roger Brown. Mostly, I think he was upset because you hadn't consulted with him. Uh, why would I consult with him just to do what I want to do? I mean, I'm the head of this company. I don't have to consult with anybody. I I'm not arguing with you. I'm just telling you he's on the warpath. I'm sorry. I certainly didn't mean to snap at you, Sarah. Of course not. Thank you for the warning, really. Uh, where is he? He left. He said something about calling an impromptu meeting, and he walked out. I wanted to ask him where he was going, but... You didn't have to bother, believe me, because I know where he went. How was your trip? Much you. Did you enjoy your interview? Oh, you have more gall, Chandler. Ah, I understand it was a brilliant interview. A coup of major proportions, which means one of two things. Either you have a private agenda, or you fail to absorb any of the insights I offered and let her get to you. The full voltage magnetism of Erica Kane trained on you, Mary. Yeah, and you fell for it, didn't you? Hook, line, and sinker. Not all men are fools, Adam. A mere fool wouldn't be taken in by her. You were. <sighs> Would you prefer to leave by the front door or the uh, terrace? I'd save you a lot of grief if you'll just listen to me. No, I am not interested in listening to you. I'm not interested about your wife, your distasteful marriage, or anything about you. Goodbye. Who are you to label my marriage distasteful? Blackmail is always distasteful. Oh, she must have been very convincing. Get out. You know, your righteous indignation is really quite laughable, as if your marriage was something to crow about. You're no authority. You were panting after poor, confused Natalie, totally unaware that your own wife was lying alone in a darkened room, right upstairs. How dare you march in here unbidden and speak to me in that tone of voice? You were badgering my patient. My daughter? Your patient is my daughter. And was not badgering her. I was teaching her to pick up a glass of water. You were pushing her. And when you push too hard, you negate the benefits of physical therapy. Angelica, are you okay? Yes. Angelique loves challenges, don't you, my darling? Dr. Zemp himself taught me this work. I know. And I have every bit of respect for Dr. Zemp's confidence in you. But he's in Austria now, and I'm the nurse in charge of this case. Your daughter is suffering from the effects of a long-term coma. She is not training for the Olympics. Please, mother. The faster, the harder she tries the faster she'll get well. Leave me with Gloria. What? She asked that you leave so she and I can start our session. Isn't that right, Angelique? Yes. But I was working with you. You don't really want me to go, do you? Excuse me, but you heard your daughter's wishes. Angelique? Please go. Very well. I'm sorry I spoke so harshly to your mother, but I had to intervene. You understand, don't you? You shouldn't let her bulldoze you around like that. It's really unnecessary. Angelique, is something else wrong? Dimitri. I thought you two were getting along really well. Didn't you stop the divorce proceedings? Yes. Well, doesn't that say something special? I don't know. He is good to you. He gives you everything you need. He really cares for you. He did once. And he still does. It is a beautiful spring day outside. So you and I are going out to the garden. I have your sweater. Are you ready? Thank you. You're welcome. This is the time of year when anything is possible.
You look familiar. You're uh... I'm a friend of the man who just left here. No, 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 no. You're, you're, you're not a friend. You're, you're her, the one in all the papers, Dylan's do doll, the one with the pregnant sister in the big house. You're Natalie Hunter. I am a friend of Detective Dylan's, and I overheard most of the conversation you just had. He tried to kill me. He didn't hurt you. Are you accused him of backing out of a deal? Well, I don't mean to be rude, lady, but what's it to you? Well, how can I help if I, I don't know what's going on? Well, what's going on is that the detective, your ex-boyfriend, got confused again. You know, about holding up his end of the pact. You know, like, maybe call it a gentleman's agreement, like I scratch his back, he scratches mine, I go the full nine yards, and when it's his turn, he... He balls? No, he develops amnesia. Doesn't remember me. Never happened. And you feel ripped off? You're smart, Cookie. Trevor's end of the deal, was it favors or money? It was favors. You can't do me. Will cash help? It might. So let's talk turkey. You and me? Why not? How much will it take to get you off Trevor's back? You'd pay? You just tell me how much, and we have a deal. Up we go into the wild blue yonder, flying high into the sky. Trevor! What's with the airplanes? Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Amanda and I have been lonely and bored. You come kiss us all. Who's going to clean up this mess? Well, I am. No, 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 no. You shouldn't be stooping and bending and everything. Oh, no wonder the nurses hate you. What? Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing. Are you all right? You look flushed. Come, let me show your forehead, see if you're getting hot. No, I'm not hot. Are you coming down with something? I'm fine. Well, someone hassling you? No. Adam Palmer, someone at work, you can tell me. Would you just calm down and listen to me? I'm not sick. Nobody's hassling me. I'm just very busy. I got a lot on my mind. Teaching Amanda aerodynamics. <laughs> oh, no. No, Ms. M, you cannot come in here and take my blood pressure and my temperature. It's visiting hours. I have company. Uh, hello, Trevor. Hey, Ruth. Uh, look, Janet, I'm not going to take your temperature. I'm here to give you this. To remind you that I'm starting a new Lamar class this afternoon. I hope I can persuade you to sign up. This isn't where you give birth underwater. No, 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 no. Lamar's classes teach natural... Childbirth, and relaxation exercise, controlled breathing, various techniques you can use so that you can have a medication-free labor and delivery. Oh, yes, where you pant like a dog and you breathe into a paper bag and you look stupid. Uh, <laughs> honey, take it from me. Uh, when you're in labor, you ain't going to care how you look. Well, right. That's why I want to be knocked out cold from the word go. Janet! I'm a coward. I have a very low pain threshold. George's sister, Dottie, she was in agony for 18 hours with her first. So you just bring on the elephant tranquilizer and wake me up when it's over, okay? Bye-bye. Uh, look, you and I have already discussed all the options you have for pain relief during labor. And I swear to you, I promise, not one of them is going to knock you unconscious. And regardless of whatever decisions you and your doctor make about medication, the skills that you can learn in these classes can come in very handy. Ruth knows best. Who side are you on? There are skills for improving muscle tone and easing anxiety. Wait a minute. If we go the Lavaz route, we need a coach. Yeah, I'm sure we can find someone. Well, we don't have to find someone. There's Trevor, Amanda's natural daddy. If I sign up for the class, will 